What's going on fam? When's the last time you opened up your rear lift gate and just took a look at this area right here and notice how moss and debris gets built up in there, right? <laughs> well, <clears throat> especially down here, you notice how all those pine needles got, got stuck behind here? Well, I found this $8 product on uh, AliExpress that I'm going to do a quick uh, install on and do a review, you know, sometime in the future to see if this works. Um, luckily today, uh, one of my tail light bulbs burned out and so I'll be replacing uh, the bulbs. So I have to take this off anyways. So um, this is just a, you know, held in with double-sided tape. But let me go ahead and take this off and show you how much gunk is stuck behind here. Look at that. Look at all that gunk in here. Pine needles. Basically, clear all this out, and then put this back on, and then I'm going to install this right here again. Little cheapos, but what it's designed to do is sit over right here, so this would sit over. this way so you it basically adds uh, additional um, layer of uh, coverage on top compared to right here so imagine if this put that on top and we put this on top of it this will sit more flush to the frame of the car and that should help minimize and prevent pine needles that get in there all right, so I gave it a good, a good wipe down. I changed out the new LED bulb. So this is clean, inside here is clean. And you see how much um, more white it's supposed to look, right? So let me go ahead and install this back on. There we go. Click, click. back on. Alright, once that's on, then just take the, the lid. It's held on with these four clips in the back. And snap it back on. So if you notice here on the top, with this back on, right at the top here, there's this gap, right? That's where all the pine needles and, are going through. Now, of course, you don't want to interrupt the flow of water when the water's running off of the roof and down, down here. But anything to prevent larger pieces of, of debris from falling in there, you know, that, that would be helpful. So that's where we have this piece right here, which, oops, I think it's the wrong one. There we go. So you got this piece right here. It's just held on with two pieces of double-sided tape and it'll just install right on top as a cap. 
So now you see it creates a more fit, a, a tight fit. So that way water can still run off of here and divert down this way, which is totally fine. But as for debris, that's what I'm more concerned about. It's a pain in the butt to always take this off, clean this out in the middle right here. And so I'm hoping this little cheap mod will save me um, some time from having to worry about uh, pine needles and additional debris and gunk that might get clogged up inside of here. All right, so let's just take a look at what this looks like. This little covers to go on the top of here. And again, it's held on with uh, two pieces of double-sided tape and basically sits on top just like this. Now one thing I did note, note just doing a dry fit here is this piece of double-sided tape actually where it's positioned right now actually won't stick to anything. It'll just stick to air. They should have put this a little bit closer near this crease on the inside, which is no problem. I do have my extra you know, 3M double-sided tape. So I did get off, uh, cut off an extra piece that I will put that'll be closer right here. So this piece, this piece that I just laid on right here would actually sit and rest on top of here. Right, Gemma, can you angle it up higher? And get closer this time? So I have some adhesion promoter. Basically it's like a, a alcohol prep. Just wipe the areas where this will get st stuck to. Oops. Get as much of the dirt and grime off so that it'll have a good stick. But look at all that, that's come off already. So this little piece doesn't adhere to any parts of the metal, which is a good thing. It's going to only stick on the, the black plastic parts right here, which um, I hope, my hopes is there won't be much um, water runoff that will, will go uh, and touch that part right there. So I'm just removing the double-sided tape. Sticky situation. Ugh, finally got that red uh, backing off and so this is what it looks like uh, with all the adhesive on the back and just stick it right on top. Press down. There you have it. I will admit, after sticking this on, it's not completely flush with it, but it did cover it up a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna install the passenger side, but I'm gonna do things a little bit differently here. Uh, I'm going to install this piece with this removed. And I'm hoping that by doing this, it'll give me a, a better vantage point to see the angles and where, where I'm installing this. So, if you zoom in over here, looking on the back, I already put on the additional 3M tape right here. And I want this to sit as flush as possible. And then now I can just push it together. By doing this, I'm hoping that I'm maximizing um, eliminating any gaps on the inside, so that way it'll sit more flush on uh, on the, the actual uh, paint of the car. So let's go ahead and install this back on. Check my work here.
So with this installed back on, pushing it, oh yeah, it's definitely a more flush fit right here. So I'm gonna look and zoom in right here. There you go. So learn from my mistake. Install this piece if you do decide to get it with this removed. So that way uh, you have more leverage to see um, that it's uh, um, more flush compared to this side right here where I just slapped it on while this piece is still here. And anywho, nice, quick and cheap mod, I guess. And uh, I'll report back with an update uh, if this actually works when next fall rolls around. Well, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks everyone, peace.